Frigid temps, snowy sceneries, cold hands, and that warm feeling after getting a big trout bite. What is up Outdoor Mavericks? Welcome or welcome back to the channel to the latest trout fishing tips video where we're gonna talk today about winter trout fishing. Now I love winter trout fishing not only because there's less people out fishing, but also less people to see you slip in the creek. And there's the everyday challenge of getting that finicky trout to bite. Now winter trout fishing can also bring on new winter trout fishing challenges, exploring new areas, and a focus on the details to potentially get that one bite of the day. But even during the toughest season of the year, every angler, including yourself, can give yourself an opportunity and increase your chances at chasing winter trout. So to help you do that, let's take a look at the top 10 winter trout fishing tips. Now coming in at number 10 is to make the same cast or the same troll over and over again. Now in the dog days of winter trout fishing, it's gonna be really finicky fishing some days and it's gonna take a lot of effort and a lot of energy to get that trout to bite. And the other seasons of the year when you're trout fishing, you make that cast and a lot of times either the trout's there or it's not there. But in the winter time, that trout is definitely gonna be there in say that slower moving water, that shallower water, higher up in the water column when you're trolling. If you're marking trout, make that cast but then make that cast over again and over again maybe a few inches here to the left a few more inches to the right that could be the biggest difference because trout don't move around as much and they don't want to expend a lot more energy so sometimes you just got to get that bait right in front of their nose and just bonk them or get them upset get them frustrated like we do in steelhead fishing where you try to get that bait in front of their face and get them a little bit riled up and angry to the point where they're going to bite that bait because they're getting upset so when winter trout fishing don't be afraid to make the same cast more than once. Now tip number nine is to mix up your colors. And some days it's gonna be more natural, more of your coppers, your silvers, your gold. Other days it might be much brighter colors. Other days you gotta go super natural and match the hatch. And this is where playing around and mixing up different colors is gonna really pay off. Now as the fall transitions into that true winter trout fishing, you gotta really be playing around with different baits and different colors all the time. Because day in and day out, even on the same body of water, the bite can change very much much just based off color presentation. And especially in the winter time when you've got off water, say muddy, dirty water conditions, color is gonna play a huge part in determining whether you're gonna get that bite or just gonna get skunked throughout the day. Now my tip is always before you make that first cast out, figure out what the water conditions are, what's the weather conditions, what are you seeing, is the water dirty, is it off color, is there a lot of wind, is there a lot of debris, how far out can you see your lure maybe as your cast Casting in a spinner and that's going to give you a lot of information even before you make that first cast and help you kind of pinpoint in your tackle box which colors of bait that you're going to start out with try some change them out and then try some more because the more colors you try the more opportunity you're going to give yourself to find that one color and get after the bite now coming in at tip number eight is to use more spinners. Now that could come to fruition in two different ways, bank fishing or trolling for trout. Now let's start with bank fishing. Now one way to cover a lot of water and just make multiple casts to the same spot is to cast spinners. And in the winter time, that gives you a huge opportunity to give yourself the widest range of a creek, a stream, a river, or a little pond to make sure you fish all different sections if the trout are spread out. And the same thing is true when it comes to trolling for trout in the winter time. Spinners give you a really good opportunity to get some moving baits, to get some different blades thumping in the water as well. You know, every spinner has a little bit of a different thumb, a little bit of different sound, which is one of the key things that trout hone in on. You know, sight, scent, and sound, sound being one of them. So that spinner blade can play a huge difference and a huge factor when it comes to trolling for trout. And one of the best spinners when it comes to thumping is the Panther Martins. It's one of my go-to winter baits. Now, if the trout don't like that extra scent, you can tone it down and go to something like a rooster tail that has a little less thump and a little less noise. So this is where playing around, covering a lot of different water and using spinners is gonna give you a huge advantage. Now tip number seven has to do with trolling and that is to slow way down. Now one of the things I've really loved over the last few years with my new boat is to go out to the lake and just troll for trout and trying different techniques, different baits, different size baits, different scents, different colors, but also changing up the speeds. Now in the spring, summer, and fall when the trout are a little bit more aggressive, you gotta up that miles per hour or how fast you're going on the water. Sometimes I've seen guys going four miles an hour 
are trolling and they absolutely slay it. Now in the winter time, you need to do the exact opposite, which is to slow way down and slow troll your way around the different parts of the lake to cover more water, but also to get that lethargic trout or those trout that aren't moving around as much to bite that bait. Now one thing you really have to pay attention to in the winter is make sure your rod is in the rod holder correctly, because even at one mile per hour, those trout can absolutely slam it and sometimes the rod can fly right out of the rod holder and into the lake. Don't ask me how I know. Now tip number six is smelly, and that is to change up and mix up trout fishing scents. Now we talked a lot on this channel about the three keys to winter trout fishing and trout fishing in general, which is sight, scent, and sound. And scent does play a critical role in the winter time because you might have the flash, you might have the right bait, but you might need that little bit of extra scent that's gonna get that trout to trigger the bite. And in the winter time, we're talking about worm, night crawler, garlic, anise, or some of my favorite scents, but also also corn as well because you still might have some stalker trout that are lingering around from earlier in the year. But again, you gotta play with different combinations. You can combine nightcrawler and corn together. Maybe it's more of an anise and shrimp kind of day. Maybe it's a little bit of just some nightcrawler with a little dab of anise. This is where the fun part of trout fishing comes in where you can experiment and play around with different scent combinations and different baits to figure out what the trout might like and you might just find the right combination that's going to trigger the bite. So every day you're out winter trout fishing, try a different scent and see what's gonna work and what's not gonna work and the trout will let you know pretty quickly. Now tip number five is to cover all different parts of the water. Now, this is a mistake that rookie anglers make a lot where if they're bank angling or they're trolling, they'll make the same cast, the same distance in the same location or they might fish an area where they had more success in the spring and summer and just figured, oh, there's gonna be trout there so I'm gonna fish the same exact location. Well, in winter trout fishing, that can't be more false when it comes to winter trout fishing. You have to cover more water, you gotta make cast shallow, you gotta cast it out there deeper, you gotta, maybe you gotta to fish a few inches of water and say a creek maybe you got to fish the deeper section where they're holding in and the same thing with trolling you got to troll in shallow they might have to troll in a little bit deeper you might have to long line you might have to get that bait down 10 feet so amp up your winter trout fishing game by covering all the parts of the water now tip number four is to go with mayflies and stoneflies. And this tip in particular is dedicated and focused on fly fishing. Now, in the winter time, nymphs are like the number one fly fishing bait no matter where you are across the country. In slower, colder water, nymphs are gonna be the way to go. But also don't overlook weighted stoneflies because in small creeks, little streams and rivers, you cast that stonefly out and it's sitting there on the bottom where those trout are trying to move and stay in slower moving water and trying to spend less energy, you're gonna give yourself the best chance and the highest percentage opportunity to get a bite and a strike in the winter time. And get off those nymphs and those stoneflies and then get ready because at any time, it could be a fish on. Now tip number three is one of my favorites, which is to sleep in. Now myself, I'm personally an angler who loves to get up early in the morning and beat the crowds out to wherever I'm fishing. But in the winter time, you don't need to get up at the crack of dawn to get out there and go chase them. Now by sleeping in, when it comes to winter trout fishing, you A, can allow the waters to warm up, let that sun get up a little bit higher, say that 10, 11 o'clock time frame, when the water can warm up a couple degrees and really help maybe turn that bite on just a hair. So sleep in, make that extra cup of coffee, maybe Maybe have yourself a little donut or breakfast burrito and then head out for some epic afternoon warmer weather trout fishing. Now tip number two is to go with smaller baits and lighter line. And this again is another rookie mistake that I see a lot of anglers do in the winter time. They believe that you need to go with a bigger size bait because big baits catch big trout. Now, yes, that is very much true, but that's more of the late spring, summer, fall fishery mindset. In the winter time, trout are looking for that big bite. The colder weather, the colder water, their metabolism slows down, and you need to present something that's a little bit smaller and a little bit easier for them to go after. So when it comes to flies or your bait fishing, say with power bait, I see too many anglers putting on globs. I mean, super big globs of bait that are very 
unnecessary. Go with something a little bit smaller. Power Eggs is one of my favorite because it's very small, nice little presentation size that trout love in the winter time. And then with that also, go with some lighter line because with clearer waters and slower water conditions, it's gonna be a little bit easier for the trout to see that line. So size down, even down to I'd say four pound test. And I think that that will help you in the long term with smaller baits and lighter line to get more bites throughout the entire season. So now that we've gone through tips 10 through two, well, what's tip number one? Well, that is to lower your expectations. In the winter time, things just slow down. The water slows down, the bite slows down, the temperature of the water continues to decrease. I mean, you have snow or ice, it is super frigid and the trout bite just isn't as hot as it is when it's warmer weather in the spring, summer and fall. But when you do get that bite in the winter time, it's gonna be one of the most amazing feelings as an angler. And there you guys have it, the top 10 winter trout fishing tips. If you guys go incorporate these tips when you're out fishing in the winter time, it's gonna help you with more hookups, more fish in the net, and you're gonna get some really amazing trout fishing photos and some of the best scenery of the year. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.